Hello fellow YouTubers, this is a new tutorial on how to get the best out of your NR2003 graphics wise, not performance, this is graphics wise, so there's a big difference. Um, people here with potatoes, I suggest you move on, this will in no way help you at all. This is going to be for people who have uh, two things, a good computer with at least 8 gigabytes of memory for the RAM and a decent graphics card. Um, why you ask is the fact that this is going to be a way to seriously put the game pretty much at its maximum. Um, this is put up by Rogue Toad uh, off of his website. This is his graphics guide. Um, this is going to be a walkthrough of how to make this work. Now what this can do is basically turn this into Well, you guys get the difference with this one right here. Now, you may be saying that doesn't look like a lot. Well, in reality, it is. This is a lot. Um, if you look at some of the different characteristics, the game is a lot smoother. Um, your car has a lot better quality as far as the textures go. They no longer blurred out. Um, the track, uh, the tracks have a lot smoother objects and they look a lot more like real life. Um, I will do quick performance stuff in mine. And I have backup saved so I can compare the difference to you guys and show you the main areas of what you need to go and change. So it'll make it a lot easier. Now for a few things I'm going to list for you all. Um, now, one thing is for sure, the graphics card you will need Okay, the requirements of the graphics card you will need any AMD or NVIDIA graphics card Now, why is this? It's because there are different ways to access other graphics cards but AMD, AMD and NVIDIA are pretty much the same when it comes to accessing their um, properties to change them and override them. So for this video you will need an AMD or NVIDIA graphics card. Um, I recommend, oh yeah I know I spelled it wrong, whatever, uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM. Um, I run on 2.3 um, gigahertz, and that's I don't I have no idea what I have, and I run on i7. So I don't know what processor you use. You guys can buy one anywhere, or Alienware, or whatever that is. But this is what I recommend for a bare minimum because I have a pretty. Um, I have, I guess you could call a high-end potato, <laughs> but um, it's it's just enough to where the game will run it with um, at a minimum of 10 FPS in some areas, but to the point where the game is still playable regardless of FPS. In other areas, I still get 60 FPS because actually this boosted my game. I don't know how, but, it's, uh, but um, I don't know why, but it boosted my game. So. This may also help. Um, now the next thing you're going to need is to do is to open your settings. Now, for most people, you may want to have an AMD. I'm going to go ahead and type in NVIDIA. Now, um, it should be Control Panel or whatever the hell it will be, whatever your graphics card is. It should be installed into your computer so it will pop up. Now for AMD users, you must go to your advanced settings. For NVIDIA users, you're going to need to go to your manage 3D settings. Oh, one other thing. Um, make sure that the Physics X processor or whatever the hell is assigned to is assigned to the GeForce or whatever NVIDIA card you're using and not to the computer's graphics card. Mind you with multiple graphics cards, make sure that it's set here. 
and uh, that can be as easy as clicking on that. So then go to your manage 3D settings. You're going to want it to have to go to, I recommend doing it for all your games, but um, if you want to do it for one at a time, just go ahead and go down here, nr2003.exe. Um, I'm using the high performance NVIDIA processor, and I'll get to what you do need to do. So, I'm going to go ahead and hit restore, just so you guys can see. Okay, so here's what you're going to need to do first. Go to 2, High Performance NVIDIA Processor, or your, or your AMD. Now this is pretty similar, I don't know how to do the AMD, just bear with me, the AMD users, NVIDIA process, NVIDIA users, watch closely. Um, so you're going to go to your Androscopic Filtering. It's, it's probably an application controller off. Go down to X or 16X. Go down to anti licensing mode. It's usually on off or enhance. Switch it to override. Anti licensing usually will be on 2X or use global setting. Go ahead and switch that to 8X or whatever you want to prefer. If you have a really high performance PC, Go ahead and try 32x. I use it on 8. Now, that should be all that it's needed for, so go ahead and hit apply. I'm not going to change anything because I've already done what I need to do for this. And go ahead and minimize that. Now, there's a few other things that you will need to do. Now, it's going to get just a little bit more complicated here. Now, what we're going to do now is opening the core.ini file. So you're going to go into Windows, this is on, if you're on Windows 7, uh, computer, Windows, C, Papyrus, and our 2003 season. Scroll down to your core.ini, it should be in the configure settings file, core. Um, now you're going to go down to your file catch. This should be right under file L R U E catch. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring up what I have on here stuck. Okay, so like I said, this, just so you guys know, the right side, this is the original, this is the new one. Hey. Okay. So it will start with 4194304. All you're going to do is simply add in this one in front of the four. Now, that's not what else you have to do. You're going to need to go down here to the memory, right here. Take this memory and do a simple copy paste on the memory size. If your pull size is not 524288, make it be so. After you do the pull size. Making sure everything that's all I need to do up here. You're gonna need to go down to we gotta go to the max block size. Yep, alright. That's all you're gonna need to do in the core INI file. Now, next you're gonna have to do is inside uh, you're going to need to do, it doesn't matter which one it's going to be in, open, if you did the, uh, you're going to need to do the regular OGL INI, DirectX 3 INI, or DXG INI. One of the three will have this, and it will all need to be used, so. I have this example up on the GXG, however, I'm also going to modify, I have it on two for some reason. 
So I'm going to go ahead and already modify this. So I have the OGL right here. And it's the same either way. So you're going to hit the click on the OGL in there. So what you're going to need to do is go to the androscopic level and change it from 2 to a 8. So this, let me find it, change this. Good, it's already set to 16 and texture size negative 1. I'm going to go ahead and open up my DXG file for you guys. And here's the original. Now remember, these two are the ones you're changing to this. Okay, next thing you need to do is to change the texture quality. Now this will either be in the player dot i and i. So I'm gonna close out these and pull up player i and i. There we go. Now I actually haven't done this part yet. Okay. And what we need to do is change the texture quality from negative one to one hundred. you're going to go down to graphics options so right here texture quality and you're going to change this file to 100 Now I strongly recommend you save it back up like how I am, just in case it lags. Hit save, and there we go. And that should be it for it. Um, I will add in gameplay to the end of this clip, um, considering it will not run throughout the video of this screen recorder. I have to put it into another one. So, Alright, that's all I have for this video of uh, tutorials. If you have any questions, make sure it's about NVIDIA. Uh, I'll show you guys the gameplay right now, so um, please just make sure it's about NVIDIA only and about this. If you're having lag issues, please ask me. Tell me what anti-aliasing you're using. And tell me the FPS you're using. Tell me your system requirements, the system that you have, like all your, your, your PC specs. And I will reply to you as soon as possible with their correct anti-aliasing to use, whether or not you should even be using it. Um, so please watch the rest of the video and enjoy this gameplay. Thanks for watching.
Get that car start start stopped immediately. immediately. Back. Hey, uh, Fender work there, Chad. That's work. Hey, guys. 